According to the plea, punishments be assessed at two years in the prison. State recommends community supervision. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to be designated as primary custodial parent? Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that to be the entirety of your plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense is at the plea? Yes, Your Honor. State is at the plea? Yes, Your Honor. With sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? We ask that you follow the recommendation, Your Honor. All right. State? Your Honor, we have had uh, contact with the complainant. And they've made it clear uh, they are not interested in supporting the district attorney's office mm -hmm. uh, in prosecution. Um, I don't know to the court. Oh, okay. All right. So... You want to explain to me why you're hitting her with the Lysol can? I wasn't in the right state of mind. And what does that mean? We were both um, arguing, and that was just the closest thing to me. And I ended up just throwing it at her. And I just, um, at the time, I wasn't, I wasn't, like I said, it wasn't in the right frame of mind. Uh, there was drinking involved, and um, we just... Um, That's not what mentioned anywhere in the police report that there was drinking involved. What it says is, she states, you didn't live with her, that you all had broken up, that she was, she was work, and she called you over to help watch the children until she returned home from work. So I don't think she's drinking at her job unless her job is to drink at her job. Well, she had drinks after work and then right. she came home. No. And then it says when she came home, she thanked you. Thank you so much, Robert, for helping to look after the children that are your biological children. That's not in there. I'm just adding that as commentary. And advised that you could leave. She said, thank you, Robert, for helping to watch the children while I was at work. You may now leave. And it said that you did not want to leave. You wanted to fix the relationship. So she said, okay, fine. You can stay the night, but you're going to have to sleep in the living room. And she said that while she was sleeping in her room, you kept coming in and out of her room, pleading with her to fix the relationship. And she said, the final time you came in the room, you were aggressive. You punched her in the stomach and held her down and grabbed a nearby Lysol can. And then you struck her multiple times on the head and face with the can, causing numerous injuries to her head and face. Robert stopped when she began to bleed heavily and apologized. I'm sorry for hitting you several times over your head with this Lysol can. So that wasn't a throwing of a can. You are actively hitting her with the can. And it says, Gwen had visible injury to her head. <laughs> so we're again, why are you hitting her with a can of Lysol? I know it's not in the report, but there, like I said, I'm going to say it again. She was drinking before she came home. And, and you probably were angry. We were, you no, know, I was uh, drinking with her when she came home because she came home, she was already drunk and then. She wanted to drink more, so I agreed. I went to the store, bought more. We drank together. And yeah, you're right. I was trying to fix the relationship, and we both just started bringing up the past, and we started getting mad at each other. Um, and basically, like, we started getting physical with each other, you know? And like I said, I wasn't in the right frame of mind, and I just, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't think straight because of the fact that, like I said, we were drunk and I just I couldn't stop myself at the time. And um, now I just, um, ever since I came back to jail, I've picked up the Bible again and I just been trying to repent as much as I can. Why, I why are you always picking up the Bible in the jail? Why don't you pick up the Bible if you're going to pick it up in the free world? Um, that's that's what I plan on doing. If, if I'm granted probation, I... I plan on going to attending a church and getting as much help as I can. Uh, well, I can tell you volunteer work, uh, anything. What I can tell you is this relationship is over. 
I'm not going to allow you to have contact with her. That's it. It's done. It's over with. If she wants to have contact with him, then she needs to come to the court and explain to the court why she wants contact with him. If they have children together, which it appears they do have children together, then that's where your grandparents, I'm, I'm assuming your mom is still alive. Yeah. All right. Do you have contact with your mother? Uh, here and there, but it's kind of rocky. Well, do you have anybody in your life where your relationship with them is not rocky? Uh, just my grandma. All That's right. It. So contact with the children, you know, if there is going to be some kind of custody exchange, that needs to be done through third parties. Because how old are your children? Um, my youngest just turned two in January, and my uh, second oldest is going to be four in October. All right. And so are these the only children who were at the location? Um, my my youngest, um, he, we have an open adoption with him. So he's with another family. So the two year old is with another. The two year old is with another family. So he wasn't he wasn't there. Um, my, my three year old was at the time he was asleep. So you have a three. OK, this report says. You were over there to watch their children. So how many children? Just the one. Well, why does it say their children? There has to be more than one child if they're using the term their children. Children is plural. No, I have two children with her. And one of them, my youngest, he's, a, he's in an open adoption. Like so was that, did family. that happen recently? Um, no, it happened when he was born. All like, right, so th let me explain to you. This is why I'm asking that question. It says that Gwen called you over to help watch over their children. It doesn't say to help watch over their child. So you're saying that when you went over to watch over children, it was really only one child? All right, and what was that child's age? Uh, three, he's three right now, I'm gonna be four. So, and here's my other question. Why, according to you, why are you and the mother of that child getting intoxicated when you have a three-year-old who's 100% percent dependent on you all like i said just and then fighting we weren't, we weren't thinking and we obviously weren't good for each other so and why was your other child adopted out because at the time um i had just lost my job and uh like basically we couldn't support him all right and is she the mother of the child mm -hmm. So I'm assuming, and this is just me assuming, I'm assuming that you all know where children come from and how they're made. Why do y'all then keep doing this when you are having children that you know you can't afford to have and you all just keep engaging in activities and not thinking of any consequences? I honestly don't have an accurate answer for that. All I could say is it's four choices. All right, court is gonna, Find you guilty, sentence you to two years in the prison, suspended and probated for two years. There's going to be proof of employment. When's the last time you had employment and what did you do? Um, I was a bartender at Fat Tuesdays. All right. You, you're not going to be allowed to be a bartender. You have an alcohol problem. So it's going to be proof of employment within 45 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider with minors or working in any industry or any restaurant where their sole source of income is alcohol and you're not allowed to be a bartender. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing in this court to be successful on probation, communication is key. If there's an issue, let your probation officer know. If you feel as though they're not addressing it, you can always come back to the court and I will make sure it is addressed. Do you understand? and your relationship with her is over. If there's an issue with the children, you need to communicate through a third party. You're not to have any contact with her. You are not to go to her house. If she shows up to your house, it would probably be in your best interest to call the police and say, hey, I have a no contact order with this person and they're showing up at to, to my home. Because if y'all do this thing, which sometimes people do, they decide, oh, we're going to live together. We're just not going to tell the court about it. You know what ends up happening? There ends up being an argument. Then the next thing you know, that person is calling the police. They're going to see that you have a no contact order in place. 
And that's going to be the end for you. You understand? All right. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Judge, if I may. Yes. Briefly, um, I believe the CW did an affidavit to the states, told them that she had no interest in going forward. Yes. Um, he accepted this probation offer. I know that I explained above the line, above the line. Mm -hmm. He was really hoping to get out. Uh, if you could reconsider the tap in custody. Uh, that's what I was going to ask you about too. If possibly I can get the tap evaluation on release at the probation. Um, no. They'll do the tap because the tap may end up recommending that you go to inpatient treatment. I don't know. It's obvious to the court that you have a major drug and alcohol issue or you say just a alcohol issue because anytime you get in an argument with someone who's the mother of your children and you pick up a Lysol can and you start hitting her over the head with it and then you tell me you were not in the right frame of mind and for you the right frame of mind or not being in that right frame of mind was I was using alcohol and we both brought up things from the past that's an issue for the court and I want to make sure that you have any treatment that you need it's two weeks all right and counsel if for some reason that tap is not a done in two weeks if you come back then i'll consider releasing him all right thank you